Have you ever wondered how that small device you place under your tongue or against your forehead gives such an accurate temperature reading in seconds? Today, we're breaking down the inner workings of the digital thermometer. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how it works, what's happening inside it, and why it's become the go-to tool for measuring body temperature. Let's dive in, right here, on History of Simple Things. First things first, what is a digital thermometer? Simply put, it's a device that measures temperature and displays the result on a digital screen. Unlike old-school mercury thermometers, digital thermometers don't rely on the expansion of liquid metal. Instead, they use electronic sensors to detect temperature changes. This makes them safer, faster, and much easier to read. Most digital thermometers are compact, battery-powered devices. You'll find them in homes, hospitals, and clinics because they're reliable and user-friendly. But what makes them tick? To understand that, we need to take a peek inside. At the heart of almost every digital thermometer is a component called a thermistor. This is a type of resistor whose resistance changes depending on temperature. In simpler terms, when the temperature around the thermistor changes, its electrical resistance changes too. Here's how it works. When the temperature goes up, the resistance of the thermistor usually goes down. And when the temperature drops, the resistance goes up. This change in resistance is very predictable, which makes it easy for the thermometer's electronics to calculate the exact temperature. The thermometer measures these tiny changes in resistance, converts them into a digital signal, and then displays the temperature reading on the screen. Okay, so the thermistor senses the temperature. But how does that become a number you can read? That's where the thermometer's microcontroller comes in. The microcontroller is like the brain of the thermometer. It takes the electrical signals from the thermistor, runs them through a conversion process, and translates them into a temperature value. This process involves something called analog to digital conversion. The sensor sends an analog signal, which is a continuous electrical voltage that varies with temperature. The microcontroller converts this analog signal into a digital number that can be displayed on the screen. Within seconds, you see your body temperature on the thermometer's display. Most digital thermometers use a liquid crystal display, LCD, to show the temperature. These displays are energy efficient and easy to read. Once the microcontroller has processed the data, it sends the temperature to the LCD, and there you have it, your reading. Some thermometers also include backlighting, making it easier to read in low light conditions. Others have sound alerts, beeps, or even color indicators to show whether your temperature is in a normal or fever range. Digital thermometers usually run on small button cell batteries. These batteries are long lasting because the thermometer only uses power when it's on. Some models automatically turn off after a period of inactivity to save battery life. Replacing the battery is simple and it can keep your thermometer running for years. You might be wondering, how accurate are these devices? Most digital thermometers are highly accurate, usually within 0.1 to 0.2 degrees Celsius. The key to this accuracy is the quality of the thermistor and the calibration of the microcontroller. Manufacturers calibrate their thermometers to ensure they provide readings as close to the actual temperature as possible. Of course, Accuracy can be affected by factors like placement and usage. For example, taking an oral temperature right after drinking a cold beverage might give a false low reading. That's why it's important to follow the instructions for proper use. For decades, mercury thermometers were the standard. They worked by the expansion of mercury in a glass tube. While they were accurate, they had several downsides. Mercury is toxic, 
and a broken thermometer can be dangerous. Reading the temperature also required good eyesight and sometimes patience. Digital thermometers solved all these problems. They're safer because they don't use mercury. They're faster, giving results in seconds rather than minutes. And they're easy to read thanks to the clear digital display. Modern digital thermometers often come with extra features that make them even more convenient. Some have memory functions to store your last few readings, which is helpful for tracking a fever over time. Others connect to smartphone apps via Bluetooth to log data automatically. Certain high-end models even have dual sensors to improve accuracy or faster measurement times. These advancements are all about making temperature measurement easier and more reliable. Maintenance is simple. Keep it clean by wiping it with alcohol or a disinfectant after each use. Store it in a dry place to protect its electronics. Replace the battery when needed and your thermometer should last for years. Technology keeps moving forward and thermometers are no exception. Today we're seeing the rise of smart thermometers that can connect to mobile apps, allowing you to track your temperature trends over time and even share data with your doctor instantly. There are also wearable devices like fitness bands or specialized patches that continuously monitor body temperature throughout the day. These are especially useful for early illness detection, monitoring fevers in children, or even tracking fertility cycles. Some models can send alerts to your phone if your temperature rises above a certain threshold. All these innovations aim to make monitoring our health more seamless, proactive, and integrated into our daily routines, helping us stay on top of our well-being like never before. So how does a digital thermometer work? It all comes down to a tiny sensor that detects temperature a microcontroller that processes the data, and a display that shows the result, all powered by a small battery. It's simple, elegant, and effective. From home use to hospitals, digital thermometers have become an essential part of healthcare because they're safe, fast, and reliable. Next time you use one, you'll know exactly what's happening behind that little screen. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.